Hey everyone, this is Andrew Redman, and I've got a quick video here that I want to go through with you to show you how to use Azure Key Vault from within a YAML pipeline inside of Azure DevOps. So let's take a look at the pipeline that I have created here. It's an Azure function. Uh, it's a Python Azure function. And if we hit edit so that we can look at the YAML pipeline, you can see that we are taking some files, we're copying them to an archive folder, um, we're zipping up the source files and the infrastructure files. There's a bicep template that it's using uh, bash commands to deploy. So we've got these two art artifacts created for source, one for infrastructure as code. And here we have, we're downloading those artifacts in the deploy stage. We're using the Azure CLI to deploy the bicep template. And here we are using the Azure Key Vault snippet, YAML snippet to download the secrets from Azure Key Vault using a service connection name, a key vault name, and a secrets filter. And once you do that, then you can use the variable named or the secret name as a variable later on in your, in your pipeline. So if we take a look real quick at the documentation, here's the YAML snippet. Here's the different parameters or arguments that you can use and how those are defined so that you can see how you may be able to manipulate this uh, differently than maybe how we did. Uh, so here's our connection. And so now what it's gonna do is it's going to set the blob storage trigger account underscore storage app setting to the value of the connection string. So let's go take a look at that within the Azure function. So if we look at the Azure function, here's our um, app setting. If we edit this, we can see that it has a current value of local dev connection string. And this was meant to simulate you deploying this maybe for the first time uh, when you build it locally, maybe you wanna you know, use in Visual Studio Code, uh, the, Azure subscri or the Azure extension or something like that, and deploying it out to Azure for that initial time. It sets a value here, but now you want to automate this pipeline by using, uh, or automate the deployment by using this pipeline. And we want to overwrite this value with what something that we have in, in the key vault. So let's take a look at our key vault value. So we have this secret name blob storage connection secret, and the value of it is super secret connection string. So when we run our pipeline, what we would expect to see is super secret connection string be set here instead of local dev connection string. So let's go kick off our pipeline and see what happens. So we are going to run pipeline. Uh, this pipeline typically takes anywhere from a minute to two minutes to run. So we won't sit here in silence. I'll fast forward through this part and catch back up once it's completed. Okay, the deploy to dev has completed. So let's go in here and take a look and notice here are our steps. We have the download of the Azure Key Vault and then we have the deployment of the function app. And just one thing I also wanted to point out is we also have this deploy to prod stage uh, in which that Key Vault is the production Key Vault as opposed to the dev Key Vault that we're using for the test that we have going on. Just to point out that you can absolutely uh, use different environment Key Vaults as you're deploying from environment to environment. So let's go take a look out here and let's refresh our app settings for this function app. And so when we open this, we should see the super secret connection string and we do. So that is how you use the Azure Key Vault task YAML snippet inside of a Azure DevOps pipeline. Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching.